out the teachings of Islam that they were okay to accept Yazid as a caliph. Within 50 years, Islam was in such a shape and such a state that people were okay to accept Yazid. And who was Yazid? You know, you have to see the personality first and then you talk about that. When Sayyid Shala was asked to pledge allegiance towards Yazid and he had, you know, quoted a beautiful statement and I'm going to quote unquote. He said at the time of departure that Nahno Ahlubayt al Nabuwa wa Mahadin al Risala wa Muqtalaf al Malai. He introduced himself there. Who we are? We are the family of Al Muhammad. We are the family of the house of the Prophet. We are the family of the Prophethood. Wa Mahadin al Risala. We are the mind of the Prophethood. Like the, the Prophethood, the messengership lies in our house. Wa Muqtalaf al Malai. Angels come to our house. And angels leave from our house. Our house is a central and focus point that angels come and go. And then he introduced Yazid. Amma Yazid, or Fasikon, Fajirun, Sharib al Khamr, Kadilun Nafsul Muhtarama. And who is Yazid? See the Shalah said, the Fasikon. Fasik, the one who commits sins openly. He doesn't like, you know, hide sin, and he doesn't get scared, and he's not afraid of committing sins. He's Fasik. For example, if someone is drinking wine behind the door, of course, he's committing sin, but he's not fasting. But the one, he doesn't say that it is a sin, and he's committing sins and drinking wine and doing all haram openly, and doesn't even think that this is haram, he or she is called fasik or fasika. So, Sayyidina Shala was introducing Yazid as Amma Yazid huwa fasikun, fajirun. He's the one who commits sin openly. Sharib al khamr he drinks Wine openly. He is the one who is a killer of a peaceful mankind. So how can How come the one like me can pledge allegiance to the one who is like Yazid? How come is that possible?